Hey, welcome back. So Revit 2024 is out and today in this video, we're going to be discussing what is new in it. So the first thing I want us to talk about is my insights. Okay. My insights are delivered to Revit Home, giving you insights on your software use and suggestions to improve your experience. Okay. Insight generated on your product may include application performance and file statistic reports and learning path tips. These insights are available only when you are using paid version of Revit, not the free student version or anything like that. All right, now the second thing I want us to talk about, okay, is the new sample model and the project templates, all right? You can use the sample model to learn about features and workflows, all right? And then the updated project template makes starting projects and updating or developing your own templates easier. All right, so let's talk more about this sample model I talked about. The sample model is an example of a mixed-use project created using Revit. All right. So the model shows example of how many elements are used to create a project. Example of construction document as well as coordinated structural MEP site and point cloud files are included in order to provide a complete model. You can use the help icons located through the models to learn about specific elements and workflow demonstrated with the model. Okay. You can track your progress learning about sample models with the how do I shadow included in the model. All right, now let's talk about the third thing. The third thing I want us to talk about is the user interface modernization, right? Now, Revit has made some changes on the icon. When you look closely, you'll see that the icons are not exactly the same, you know, they are not exactly looking the same as they were looking before. Take for instance, this modify arrow is now bigger and you can see some colors in this icon, all right? So, over 2,000 icons were replaced in the new modernized versions. These changes improved the visibility of the contextual tab and the options bar for both light and dark themes. Speaking of dark themes, now Revit supports the dark theme for first level user interface, including the properties palette, the project browser, the options bar, the view control bar, and status bar. Before, we only had it for just the drawing area. We can change, but when you change it, every other thing will still be white. But then you will see that the drawing area is black. But now you can change all these things I just mentioned now. I mean, the properties palette, the project browser, the options bar, the view control bar, and the status bar, as well as your drawing area, which is your canvas. Okay. To change the theme settings, okay, you can click file, click on file, okay, the file tab, and then the options. And then the color tab. So to change this, like the properties palette, the project browser, options bar, view control bar, and status bar, all you need to do is change it from the UI active theme. Okay. From here, you can see a lot of, you can change it to dark. You can change it to even to use what your system is using. If your Windows or Mac is set to dark theme, automatically your Revit will be in dark theme. Okay. But Let's just set it to dark for now. All right. So to set the drawing area theme to light or dark, just come over here, come down here to the canvas color scheme and you change it to whatever color you want it to be. All right. So you can change it. You can also change the... You can change the current drawing area theme from the ribbon using the canvas theme button under the view tab and select the desired theme, whether light or dark, or you can use the shortcut CA to toggle between the light mode and the dark mode. Now let's take a look at the project browser. All right. A search function is now available at the top of the project browser. Okay. The, when you start searching the view or the sheet that you want to, or schedule, whatever it is you want to search, the search starts automatically and update relevant result as you type. All right. The matched keywords are highlighted in the filtered list on all levels of the hierarchy in the project browser. We have Revit to to motion enhancement, right? We have auto sync functionality, which has been added to Twin Motion drop down menu. Okay. When enabled, the auto sync supports automatic synchronization of changes from the active Revit model to the direct linked connection in Twin Motion or Unreal Engine. All right. Now, Topo Solid. All right. You can now create topographic element as solid geometry as opposed to the surface geometry that we had before. Represent the topographic and site condition of your model. Topo solid are created using the CAD or CSV files. You can also create a topo solid by sketching a boundary and adding elevation points 
within the boundary. Okay? Topo solids support surface pattern of assigned materials and can be cut by other geometry. Alright? Smaller time intervals measured in seconds are now available for running the solar studies. You can study shadows with a higher precision using 15, 30, 45 or 60 second intervals. You can access the sun setting dialog directly from the ribbon. Okay, so for quick access to the sun setting dialog, you can use the new button on the solar study tab. Okay, preset and then data panel. You can view some parts in perspective views and also editing drag and drop operations are now enabled in perspective view. You can use preset to quickly change your sun settings and locations. Now we have texture visual styles. They, are, they have included in transitions board, they have included a new visual style for us to use. Okay, you can use the new texture visual style to apply the texture of rendered material without lighting effects. Okay. When creating a presentation or view where you want to show a texture of a material without lighting effects or rendering, use the texture visual style. The texture visual style applies the appearance asset of material to element in the model, but lighting effects are not applied. The textures appear in an even value across all surface in the model. All right, now we have additional colors added to us. Okay, we have the color book dialog. Okay, you can specify colors using the third party color books or user defined color books. All right, so you can choose a color from the available color books to use in the window color dialogs. Okay, in previous version, we only have, you know, we only had Pantone colors. Okay, but now as you can see, we have those and even more. All right, so you can align surface patterns now. In Revit 2024, you can use the Align tool to align surface pattern on shape edited elements. All right. So patterns can be aligned across the entire surface or can be individually aligned. All right. So model patterns applied to shape edited elements can be aligned with the Align tool. You can use the controls in the Contextual tab to specify whether the alignment applies across the entire surface or applies only to the face where the pattern line is selected. If the shape edited surface contains ruled surface, the pattern may appear distorted. When we when we come over to the sheet section, multiple views and shadows can be placed on a sheet at the same time by either dragging them from the project browser or selecting multiple items from the view dialog. You can use the search functionality in the select view dialog to easily find the views or schedule that you want to place on the sheets, okay? After selection, views and schedules are positioned tiled, okay, on the cursor, as you can see, to allow an easier arrangement on the sheets, okay? You can now recite all the rows in schedule placed on a sheet to clearly represent its contents, including text, image, or graphics. Okay, you do this by setting the resize row parameters to all in the schedule graphics properties palette and entering the desired value for the row height parameter. All right, that's just, you know, the ones uh, that I, I think are most important for me also to talk about, you know, as architects. All right, so obviously there are a lot, there are a lot more. Okay, you can check other videos about, you know, what is new. Okay, there might be some that are focusing on there might be some that are focusing on MEP if you are MEP personnel or, or, st or structure, okay? So, for now, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like, okay? And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, turn on the notification button so you don't miss any of our future videos when we drop them, okay? So, you get notified anytime we drop future content. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.